Hello everyone, in this video we'll go through how to install SQL Server 2022. We'll be installing the Developer Edition, which gives us all the features of SQL Server 2022, and it's free. You can download the installer directly from the Microsoft site. Open a browser and search for Download SQL Server 2022. click on the Microsoft link, you'll see a number of different options to select from. Scroll down to the free specialized edition section. And click on download now under developer. In the past, you had to pay for the developer edition of SQL Server. Now it's completely free. Open the file you downloaded and select the installation type. I'll choose to download the media so I can have the set of files handy whenever I need to use it. And click download here. I'll pause here and return when the download completes. So the download completed. Double click on the downloaded ISO to mount it. Then run the setup. This brings up the SQL Server Installation Center. Go to Installation, then select New SQL Server Standalone Installation. This launches the setup wizard. Select the edition of SQL Server you want to install. We'll leave it on the developer edition since it provides all the features. Accept the license terms. You can use Microsoft Update to check for updates. Then it's going to check for any potential problems with the installation. The firewall warning can be ignored. Here you have the option to install the Azure extension for SQL Server. This allows you to enable Microsoft Defender for Cloud, Purview, and Azure Active Directory. I'm not going to do that here on this machine, so I'll click Next. On the feature selection screen, you can select what features of SQL Server you want installed. I want to create and manage databases and run SQL queries against them. So I'll select database engine services. Some other major features that you can add are analysis services. If you need to work with multidimensional databases, migration services, which helps you with your data migration tasks. Reporting services is actually no longer included in this installer. If you need that, you can click on this link here to download it. And you don't have to add everything now. You can always come back and add additional features later. Specify whether you want a default instance or a named instance. If you select default instance, the SQL Server name will be the same as the machine you're installing on. Therefore, you can only have one default instance on this machine. For named instance, the SQL Server name will be the machine name backslash, then the name you give it here. You can have multiple named instances on the machine. We'll select the default instance since this is the first time SQL Server is installed on this machine. On the server configuration page, you can change the account that runs the different SQL Server services and also change the collation. I'll leave these with the default values. On the database engine configuration page, select the authentication mode you want to use to log in to SQL Server. Windows authentication uses the Windows account 
you're currently logged in with. Mixed mode allows you to use Windows authentication and also SQL Server authentication where you specify a SQL Server username and password. Whichever one you choose, be sure to specify which user will be an admin of this SQL Server instance. I'll add my current user. You can review your selections on this ready to install page, then click install. And this may take several minutes depending on the hardware you're installing on. Next step is to install SQL Server Management Studio. This application allows you to run SQL queries against your databases and to configure and manage your SQL Server. To download it, click on the Install SQL Server Management Tools in the SQL Server Installation Center. This will take you to a page where you can download Management Studio. This is also free to download and use. Run the setup for SSMS and click Install. Once this is installed, go to your Start menu. I'll close these down first. And then search for SQL Server Management Studio. You can now connect to your instance of SQL Server if you chose default instance when you installed, the SQL Server name will be the same as your machine's host name. If you have a problem connecting, make sure that the SQL Server service is running. Open Services, and then go down to SQL Server. The status of this should be running. If not, right click and click Start. So I hope this tutorial was useful to you. Thank you for watching.